me your game. Race to the finish. All right, tell me what, what the rules are for your game. My name is Michelle Thomasich Brown, and I teach pre algebra at Alba Middle School. Each player has a different color. They place their three chips on numbers. On my project, I wanted something out of the ordinary and that sparkled. Uh huh. And it's really cool because sometimes you think it lands on something and it turns. Okay. And like so, the, are you how often did someone win? Not very often. <laughs> Not very often. Well, what was your percentage? Students were challenged to use their knowledge of probability to create a carnival-type game for our annual red. Spring so Fling red. Day. Good chance of winning with red, right? Okay. So we can. The hardest part of the project was figuring out what I was going to do. But the easiest part was when I got to put it all together after I decided what I was going to do. And when you performed your experiment, how often did people land on all three beanbags on the color? Not very often. So if you played a thousand games, how much would we make? Students not only had to design and build a game, they had to record their trials and report their theoretical and experimental probabilities. So 50% 50, 50, 50 of the time they were winning. 50% of the time they could land on people. And did you play it yourself? And did, how many times did you win? You won two times? Out of how many times did you have to play to win two times? I played ten rounds. You played ten rounds and you won two. So your actual probability was only two out of ten. Or what percent is that? Twenty percent. That's right. So twenty percent of the time you won, but when other people play, they were winning fifty percent of the time. So it sounds like they're better at the game. What was your theoretical probability? Did you do the theoretical or looking at your circles and how many were pink? Yes, five of them. No, six of them. Six out of how many? Fifty. Six out of their fifty circles on your paper, so six out of fifty. Did you change that? When Miss Brown assigned us the project, I didn't know where to start or begin. I just didn't know. And I decided to Google it. I Googled carnival games and the game pulled up and I just Reports, if you could find six. I did five out of fifty because I was saying there was five. Uh, so you miscounted. So if it was five out of fifty, what's your probability? Ten percent. So you had six out of fifty. Do you think that percent is going to be higher now or lower? Because students were creating a game for their spring fling day, probability became a concept that was real and relevant to them. But if you ain't on the side of the board or if you ain't on a black line, then you win. Oh, so if you get on any color in any solid area, as an educator, it was important during presentations to engage each student in the discussion of probability as their guide on the side. Okay, so you're figuring two feet, okay? But they gotta sit there. When I finished the project, I was relieved because I, it was easier than I thought it would be. Go ahead, I'll say it. How many times did they have to land on a solid color? Three. Three or one. Three or more out of their ten throws, okay? All right, very good. How often, when you uh, performed your experiment, did people win? It was three out of fifteen times. What? Simplify that fraction for me. Three out of fifteen. One fifth of the time. What percent would that be if we had one fifth of the time? Twenty would be how much? So we multiplied our denominator by twenty. Multiply your numerator by twenty. You had a one over five chance. That'd be twenty over hundred. It'd be twenty over hundred. So what percent is that? What are percents always out of? So two. No, twenty percent. Explain your game to us. Right. One dollar to play the game, and when you play the game, you get five pennies to. Five chances to land on any of those targets. Any of the targets. And so if we land a penny on any of those targets, we win. Yes. Okay? Can David demonstrate for me? Come stand. How far back does he have to stand? What do your rules say about how far back someone has to stand? At least a yard. How far is a yard? Three feet. So at least three feet back, David. You got all your pennies? Now your goal is to land on top of one of those targets. So go ahead. This project allowed reluctant math students to participate without fear of failure. Well, you hit it. You hit most of the targets, didn't you? How do you feel? Do you think this game is a fair game? No? Why do you think it's not fair? What's lopsided? 
some, oh. of the pieces, some of the pieces. So why do you think in games that they move some of the pieces? To rip you off to make harder. All right, Brian, when you performed your experiments at home, how often does somebody land? Oh, uh, at least one out of 20 times. One out of 20 times. You, you have charts that show one out of 20 times? Students learn that they must have data to support their conclusions. Okay, three people did it five times? Yeah, and there's like 25, okay. 10, yeah, Okay, so what does that mean, 25? Tell me what that means. Uh, Okay, so you actually would win tickets because it's yeah. sprinkling you win tickets. So the more points you have, the more tickets you get. Okay? All right, very good job. Penny toss. Penny toss. You know what? This class has already two, three penny tosses. All right? Tell me how to play your game. Well, you get the pennies. You have ten pennies to throw. Okay? So you're paying a dollar to play. You win two dollars. You gotta have a total of 200 points. What numbers do you have down on your board? Uh, the big circle is 25, the medium circle is 50, and the little Oh, and the little bitty ones are 100. 100. I didn't even notice those hundreds. So, how often did people win when you performed your experiment? During presentations, students realized that ideas and materials were varied, as were their payouts and probabilities for their games. 65% of people hit uh, 25 and 30% of people hit 50 and only one person had to hit the 100 which was the And they only hit it once. So nobody actually got 200 points. So nobody won. So what probability is that if, no, if it doesn't happen at all? It's a 0% probability. Now, it, it, that's your what kind of probability? Theoretical or experimental? Experimental. Experimental because you experimented. But theoretically they have a chance to win, don't they? Okay, All did right, you Ariel, what is the name of your game? Toxic Lily Pad. Toxic Lily Pad. Alright, tell me what we have to do to get play. Uh, you have to step 12 foot back. 12 foot, that's a long way. Go ahead. Yeah, you should have seen, I got it. I got it. You added another pen, okay? And then you roll the dice. Okay, so your game might take a little bit longer than someone called it. Blue. Green into green and red into red. Oh, the first one. See, you have to. Okay, I want you to move yours away from all that. Something that you can a little thing. Like just a little thing. Okay. How do we play? Okay. 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 You had so you did uh, what kind of probabilities are right. I'm drawing my cards. Um, one out of three. So what percent is that? One third is a common fraction. Keep going on that side. David. 